Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to go over some things that may make your wig smell a little bit mm, off. You need this video. Okay, so last year we decided as a group that we're gonna wash our wigs fresh out of the box. Sometimes I break that rule and it's okay to break the rule from time to time, but as a general rule, I do advise that we should all be washing our wigs when we receive them or our hair extensions before we turn them into whatever it is we're gonna turn them into. And today's video is sponsored by Second Nature. They have this really cool wig fresh deodorant for wig caps. So thanks Second Nature for sponsoring this video because this is a topic that we need to get into and I'm gonna go over different things that can cause your wig to smell not so good and a few things you can do to help that. All right guys, my wig is on and I am ready to talk and this hair is the no-show wig from Her Given Hair. I talked about it in my previous video and I'm gonna do more stuff with it later but this is the wig that I was preparing for this video. So let's get into the things that have made my wig smell or could make your wig smell. Starting at the root of the problem, you always want to wash your hair before you go into protective styling. It's very important because your hair smells. Hello, it's organic. We are organic in here. A lot of us like using oils that are organic. We like using natural things in our hair. Bacteria loves that. Did you know that? It really does love those natural ingredients that you put on your hair. It's gonna metabolize the byproduct is going to be a nasty little smell going through your wig cap and offending everybody around you. Now, if somebody is that close to you to smell inside your wig cap, then maybe they're just a little bit too close and they need to back up a little bit. But you definitely want to wash your hair, thoroughly deep clean your hair before you go into any kind of protective styling, wigs, weaves, braids, faux locks, whatever it may be, crochet braids. Which brings me to the second thing that may be causing your wigs to smell, the things that you use, your silk scarves, your bonnets, and possibly your pillowcases. Make sure everything is thoroughly cleaned. Wash those things. Don't just use, use, use until they start smelling and then wash them. And the reason I say this is because a lot of these fabrics that we use to protect our hair, yeah, they do a good job of protecting our hair, but they do also hold on to odors. Silk notoriously holds on to bad smells, and it can be difficult to get the smell out. So please be advised that you want to wash as often as you can and wash gently and make sure that the things that you're using when you go to bed are not stinky and they won't transfer to your hair and transfer to your wig or if you say you use got to be glued at night sew your wig down use an adhesive or some kind of gel and you go to sleep with your silk scarves or whatever it is that you sleep with however you sleep over time it's gonna smell it's just going to smell. It's going to happen. I'm just saying. You're not getting a lot of oxygen in there. And then silk has this weird thing it does where it repels moisture. So you may have a lot of sweat trapped in there. And then the funk. It's just... It's a breeding ground. It's just a disaster waiting to happen. So make sure you wash all of those things and keep them nice and clean. I promise I'm gonna get to the deodorant and how it works, but we can't talk about that until we address the elephant in the room, which is our wigs. We said in 2019, we were gonna wash our wigs, okay? 2020, nothing has changed. We still have to wash our wigs, so make sure you wash your wig. Wash it well. Whatever soap you're using should be strong enough to get in there and get rid of all of the makeup, all of the got to be glued, and anything else you may have put on your wig cap because there's no point in washing a wig if the things that you put on can still be seen. If I can still see your makeup, well, I can't because, you know, I'm not going to be able to see unless I pull your wig back, but if you can still see your makeup, on your wig after you wash it, you need to wash it again until that makeup is not visible anymore. And it can be difficult sometimes, some soaps are not strong enough. Get your strands, get your cap, get your adjustable elastic bands, all of it needs to be nice and clean. And now, the moment everybody has been waiting for, especially us lazy people, this is the Wig Fresh Cap Deodorant. I have three of them and they're by Second Nature. I'm gonna put all the links down in the description box. I have Egyptian Musk, which I've been using like crazy. It's been over a month. Honestly, I 
overuse this product. <laughs> Mango Madness and also Coco Chanel. Mango Madness smells nice and tropical so it's gonna be my summer fragrance and the Coco Chanel one smells a little bit floral so it's very nice and very feminine. Egyptian musk it's okay but it's my least favorite because I'm not a musk person that's just me and you just spray the inside of your cap a few times you really don't have to spray it that much I go overboard but you really don't have to spray it that much and you can spray the strands of your hair this wig this wig is old this wig needs a bath but after that you shake it up let it dry and wear your wig or you hang it up overnight which is the best method wait until morning to wear your wig spray it a little bit in the morning and it's gonna smell amazing but it's also great to just spray before you style your wig before you know you do it everything else that you want to do and it keeps your cap smelling great it basically works like a sanitizer it does have food and USP grade ethanol which is going to behave like an antiseptic and eliminate the bad odor causing bacteria trap those odors so you can't smell them and of course the fragrance in here adds a nice smell to the wig cap and your wig and everything's gonna smell lovely under there it also does have i think it was zinc ricinoleate which is a derivative of castor oil so they did put some thought into the ingredients that they put in their products and i'm thankful for that that's basically how you use it it's very simple make sure it dries before you put it on which is not going to take long to dry because of the ethanol and go ahead with your day and everything's going to be smelling nice real nice also a bonus is my bedroom smells nice because of it every time I sprayed on my wig my room smells nice so I don't need air freshener so that's a good huge bonus now we're gonna wrap this up with the fifth and final tip which is pay attention to how you store your wigs and how you hang up your wigs or prepare them for the next day one of the biggest things that helps all of us not have a smelly wig is to actually wear wigs we can take off and put on the next day when you are sleeping at night you have an opportunity to create sweat and bacteria is just thriving and all of that is going on but if you hang your wig up at night every night instead of just laying it flat somewhere it's going to have an opportunity to breathe and you will have a fresher smelling wig while you are wearing the wig and you can definitely delay wash day if your wig is hanging up every night as far as wig storage goes make sure you wash your wig thoroughly and then let it dry for at least two days you really want your wig to dry and you know just finger it go in there and make sure you can tell that it's dry at the roots and everywhere let it dry one way on one day and then invert it and dry it another way in a different orientation the next day that way you know for a fact that it's thoroughly dry before you pack it up and store it somewhere if you just store a wig after letting it dry for a short period of time and you think it's dry you do run the risk of moisture being trapped in there and you're gonna have a smell and that smell is just kind of you know marinating in there whatever storage bag it goes in you put it in there I'm hoping it's not a plastic storage bag but you know people do different things that's none of my business you put it in your storage bag and it's a little bit wet when you come to get it the next time it may smell and you don't want that so definitely store your wigs appropriately and hang up your wigs appropriately so that you don't have a smell that's huge and very important and I do hope this video helped somebody who is having trouble with their wigs smelling really bad hopefully it helped you if it didn't definitely address your complaints about your wigs in the comment section and if I didn't touch a certain topic that may be of interest to you I can get back to you so thanks again Second Nature for sponsoring this video and I will talk to you guys soon take care of yourselves and bye